All right, here is how you do problem 11 on homework 1.6. Ultimately, what this problem wants us to do is it wants us to write a linear function such that if we input 1, we get out 4, and if we input 0, we get out 6. And so the way I see this problem is that 1 is an, uh, our first input, so I call it x1, and the output that goes with it, 4, would be my y1, because input x1, get out y1. All right, that means the second input they tell us, 0, is our x2, and the second output we get is y2. So we really have two coordinates here. We have 1, 4, and we have 0, 6. Now I'm going to use those two coordinates to find the slope between these two points. So slope, again, is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is my x1, this is my y1, this is my x2, this is my y2. So I plug in and I get 6 minus 4 on top, and I get 0 minus 1 on bottom. And when I do my subtraction, I get 2 over a negative 1, which gives me negative 2, and that is my slope, which I call m. Okay, now what I have is a point, I have one point on the line, and I have a slope. And so I'm going to use my point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And at this point, you can choose either point. You can choose the 1 comma 4, or you could choose the 0 comma 6. I'm going to choose the 0 comma 6. Okay? And so y minus y1, my y is 6, and so I'm going to do y minus 6. I'm going to plug in my slope for m, which is negative 2. And I'm going to plug in my x1, which, because I chose this point, is 0. Okay, now I just have to do a couple of things. I need to distribute this 2 in over here. So I get y minus 6 equals negative 2x minus 0. So I'm going to leave that out because 2 times 0 is 0. And then I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So my final answer for that part A is y equals negative 2x plus 6. That would be the linear function that would pump out these two indicated values. And if you want to check, if I plug 1 in, negative 2 times 1 gives me negative 2, negative 2 plus 6 gives me 4, and so it meets that first parameter. If you plug in 0, 2 times negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus 6 gives me 6, and so it works. Okay. Now part B, where you have to graph it, or at least sketch the graph, I'm just going to sketch the graph of this linear function. So y-intercept is up at 6, and we have a slope of negative 2. So I go to my graph. My y-intercept, I said, was up at 6, and has a slope of negative 2. So I go down 2, over 1, down 2, over 1, down 2, over 1, and I create my line. And I should... I didn't really pick the best spot for this, so I'm going to regraph it quick. Up two over one. Let's start there. There we go. Still not perfect, but for sake being, my dots are probably a little off. Okay, and there I have it graphed. All right. So again, that's eleven. Uh, on this homework 1.6, and that is again how you will do problems 13, 15, 17. All the odds are going to be similar to this, and so hopefully this video helps gain some understanding of what we're doing here.